Reactions to Apple's Tuesday rollout of the iPad Air, Mac Pro and more photo gallery. Apple Inc. is refreshing its iPad lineup in hopes of reclaiming lost ground in the tablet market and slashing the prices of its Mac computers to intensify the pressure on the beleaguered makers of PCs running Microsoft's Windows. Tuesday's unveiling of Apple's latest products primes the company for a holiday shopping season onslaught aimed at a list of rivals that includes Google Inc., Samsung Electronics, Amazon.com Inc. and Microsoft Corporation. A thinner, lighter and faster running tablet computer called the iPad Air highlighted the event in San Francisco. Apple Inc. also showed off the souped-up iPad Mini that boasts a faster microprocessor a high-definition display screen and higher price than its predecessor. The iPad upgrades, coming a year after the release of the tablet's previous generation, fell largely in line with analyst expectations. In a surprise, Apple is introducing slightly revamped MacBook Pros at prices 9% to 13% below the previous versions. What's more, Apple is giving away its latest Mac operating system, Mavericks, for free, as well as several pieces of software including programs called eWorks and eLIF that provide many of the same tools as Microsoft's Office. We are turning the industry on its ear, Apple CEO Tim Cook said of the company's strategy. Technology analyst Patrick Moorhead predicted the discounted MacBook Pros will force personal computer makers to cut the prices of their machines by at least $100 for the holidays. And OVM analyst January Dawson thinks Apple's giveaway of the operating system and software programs is now teaching people to expect both of those things to be free. While this won't disrupt Microsoft's business overnight, it will create further pressure on Microsoft to bring down prices. If that happens, it would be another blow for Microsoft, which has seen its Windows revenue suffered in recent years as personal computer sales sync commit the shift to smartphones and tablets. Apple triggered the upheaval with the 2007 release of the first Ethany followed up with the 2010 introduction of the iPad. While both products have a fierce following, Apple has been losing market share to rivals who primarily make mobile devices running on Google's Android software. As Apple is now doing with its Mavericks software for Macs, Google gives away Android to device makers who can afford to undercut the prices for Ethany and iPads. Despite the competitive pressure, Apple has steadfastly refused to cut prices on its top-of-the-line products. Instead, it has sold older versions of its phones and iPads at slight discounts to consumers who are willing to settle for something less than state-of-the-art technology. The Cupertino, California company is hewing to that philosophy with its latest tablet. The iPad Air will start at $499, just like its predecessors, while a new iPad Mini will sell for $399 a 21% increase from the price of the first Mini. The price of the original Mini, which runs at slower speeds and lacks a high-definition display screen, is falling from $329 to $299. As it has done for more than a year, Apple will continue selling the iPad 2, a tablet that came out two and a half years ago, for $399. Apple doesn't want to play in the mud with declining prices on iPads, Moore had said. The strategy hasn't been a hit with investors who are unhappy with the Cupertino, California. Companies slowing growth as it loses sales to lower price alternatives. Wall Street also is disillusioned with Apple's lack of another breakthrough product since the death of co-founder and chief visionary Steve Jobs two years ago. Apple's stock dipped $1.49 to close at $519.87 Tuesday. The shares remain about 25% below their peak reached 13 months ago. The iPad Air's main appeal is a more svelte design and a faster microprocessor, the same kind of chip in the Ethany 5S that Apple released a month ago. The new tablet weighs just one pound, compared with 1.4 pounds for the previous version. Apple marketing chief Phil Schiller hailed it as a screening fast iPad, noting that it is a times faster than the original model that came out in 2010. The iPad Air will go on sale November 1st. A new iPad Mini will be available at a still-to-be-determined date later in November. They are coming out at a time when Apple needs to reassert itself in a tablet market. Google, Amazon.com and Samsung have been winning over consumers with flashy tablets that sell for $200 to $400. None of the rivals boast the 475,000 apps that Apple says are made for the iPad.
but the vast selection hasn't mattered to many cost-conscious consumers.